Hi YouTube, um, I just um, typed a story up for one of my friends on MSN. I just randomly wanted to type a story and I actually went on for pretty long, like, like 10 minutes or so. And I came up with a story and I actually thought it was pretty good. So um, I, I typed it for pretty long and I saved it. And I thought, you know, it's so good. Why not share it with um, you? You know, why not share it with YouTube? So I typed it off. I saved it in a Word document. And um, here it is. Here's the exact story I typed to my friend. Pretty long. And I'm going to tell it to you right now. So here we go. Just set the camera here. All right, here we go. And the title of the story is called The Story About Three Spoons, A Doctor, and Two Kids Who Go on the Trip. Okay, so here we go. Uh, one day on a Sunday, there was this cabinet that had a doctor stuck in it, and he was like, oh man, I really want a skills bar right now. And then he was like, oh wait, they don't make skills bars. For fuck's sakes, I want to dance. Then he climbed out of the cabinet under 56 bear traps that fucking closed on his face. It made him bleed, and he laughed so hard. He was like, wow, that's so cool. So he picked himself up and was all bloody and was like, uh-oh, I need to get to my office soon or I'll be late for my ticket. So he went into his drawer and picked out three spoons who were really happy. And he talked to the spoons and was like, do you spoons know who took my fucking tuxedo? And the spoons tried to run away from the doctor, but they really had no more of the thing they needed. So they went into the doctor's pocket and left for the trip to his office. And on the way out of the house, the doctor tripped into a hole in his yard full of chocolate-covered chocolates. So he ran out of the hole because he knew Brad Pitt really did drink his water last night at, at 9 a.m. on a cliff. So he ran out and went to get some kids to take with him on his trip. Plus, he really liked kids because he liked fucking them on a hill. So he ran and ran all the way to a tree and stopped to ask it, Which way to my office? The tree started talking and the doctor pulled a fresh tomato out of his pocket and whipped at the fucking tree as soon as it started talking and ran away yelling, Haha, fuck you tree, I just saved taxes. So he kept running and running to his office and saw three kids on the street and ran up to them and said, Kids, I fucking need you for my office because I like fucking you and I need my tickets, let's go. All this while still covered in bear traps, chocolate covered chocolate and blood. So the kids were like, fuck, and tried to run. So the doctor booed one of the kids in the face and took the other two kids and said, listen, I really need to take, I really need to take my powers because I love cows. So the two kids were like, okay, let me grab some milk first. And they pulled a brand new glass of milk right out of their now dead friend's pocket that the doctor booted in the face and drank half of it and threw it on the street and ran with the doctor to his office. So they ran for five minutes straight and finally got to the right building. And the doctor said, okay, kids, I'm going to stab one of you now. So he fucking stabbed the little girl and said, I love to do this on Sundays. They are my days. Haha. <laughs> so then the boy kid went with him into his office and said, Where, where's the ticket you need? Just then the doctor stared at the kids for 10 hours straight until the next morning and then instantly fucking blew up into 124,533 pieces right in front of the kid's face. And the kid yelled, No, he said, I will get you your ticket, Mr. Doctor. I will do it for you even though you are dead. So the kid ran into all the offices looking for any ticket he could find that the doctor might have been looking for. And he finally went to one last room, but there was a giant snake in the room, so the kid ran out. But the snake came after him, and then exploded into 50 more bear traps. And now the kid got stuck in all the bear traps, and they fucking closed on his face and eye sockets. And he was bleeding and crying and dying and screamed for help. He dragged his way out of the building and still had three bear traps stuck on his fucking legs. And two bear traps right in his ear and eye socket. And he stood up and found the glass of milk he had earlier from his friend. So he finally stuck the glass on the sidewalk, but he knew he'd need more than just milk to win the game. So he fucking shoved the bear trap into his head while smiling and pulled a fire hydrant out of his pocket for his birthday party. And his mom showed up and blew out his candles of the cake that instantly appeared in the kid's hands. And he died. And right after, his mom stabbed her in the face too. The end.